Anna Frantino with Bionic Buzz here with you at the North American Impact Report Press Conference. We are super excited to be here and we can't wait to see who we interview. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Princess Karen Cantrell and I want to welcome you to... Hello, everybody. As an Asian artist, what would you like to say to your peers? Uh,那马上他的问题是，就您作为这个亚洲级艺术家，能对自己召开的这些发布会，为你的这个影响力、北美报告、你想对你的同行说点什么？哦，我们搞艺术的绘画的呢，艺术我认为是一门很深奥的
the LABA organization and his art and um, you know as an artist I mean I love it when people will take the time to listen and speak and you know share what they do and uh, inspire other people. Absolutely. Is there anything you would love to say to your peers that is encouraging or uplifting for them? Yeah, I mean, the best thing I can tell anybody that's striving to be an artist is you just got to get up every single day and show up and um, be consistent with it. Um, five days a week at least is what my motto is, uh, eight hours a day. It's a, it's a job and it's not your job to make work that people are going to buy. It's just your job to make work and then once once you do that, you're done, and the rest is up to the universe, so just feel free to express yourself. I did in the early 80s, and I'm still making sculptures with light now, and I couldn't be more happy. Well, that is a blessing. Thank you so much for having us here, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you for having us all together today. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. We can stop So how do you feel about the conference today? I thought it went exceedingly well. I was extremely happy. I'm certain Jen and Wong was happy, and I saw that Mr. Joey Zhao, who is the creator of the Los Angeles and Beverly Arts, was thrilled with it. And we were so honored to have Lisa Schulte with us, who was an honoree, and she expressed herself so prolifically, you know, to um, tell the people about how happy she was that she had won an award as well. And of course Todd Williamson, very famous artist in his own right, just a perfect person to work with here in the Los Angeles and Beverly Arts, so I gave it an A+. plus. I was extremely happy. It was, it was. Is there anything encouraging you would like to say to, it, to your peers? Yes, we would like for all the people who are artists and who are not artists, who may be just wanting to learn about what we're doing to go to the Los Angeles and Beverly Arts website. We have a Facebook page. We are all over social media and they can contact us and we always uh, have a questions and answers on the website and we uh, will get back to them immediately. And what are your social media handles? Oh, they are just the LABA, L-A-B-A and that's, that's it. And we, it's not spelled out, it's just L-A-B-A. Perfect. Thank you so much for having us here today. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. How do you think the conference went today? I think it went really well. I have been a part of this organization for the past year, give or take, and um, they're always fun. Uh, it, it's interesting to be a part of the, this organization because I think it also helps bring together the world in many ways because it's so international. And the other thing I do want to say is I'm very excited about the upcoming Icon Awards because we have a great group of artists that are potential uh, nominees and it, it, it's going to be a very nice award show this year. Absolutely. We can't wait. Is there anything encouraging or uplifting you want to say to your peers? You know, the arts, I've been in the arts for over 30 years and it's a very difficult profession, but it's very rewarding and I really love it. And I, I think that things like this, where artists help artists, are the most important things that exist in the world toward helping artists move forward and find the support they need. Even just sometimes it's just a, a mental thing. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you so much.